In this video, we will show you how to replace your driver's side seat switch panel on the Chevy Trailblazer. This will be mounted directly to the outside of your driver's seat. Let's get into it. Okay, friend, let's get started on our job. Let's have a look at the brand new panel. Now, what we're looking at is the backside. This would be the front. You'll find that you have a small hole where there should be a Phillips head screw holding this in place all around the front of the seat here. Now, looking at this, you will also find that you have several small hooks that aim downward and you also have a locking tab. Aside from that, you will have several areas where your switches press into. With all that said, let's start with the Phillips head screw, which is right along this area. Ours is broken, so the locking tab fell out of place. Make your way in between the trim panel and the seat and gently pry it apart. Now with that out of place, the next thing we'll do is continue on to removing these two pieces on our rearward switch. Carefully use a trim tool and make your way in between the area, separating each one of these. Give them a close inspection and set them aside because you will be reusing them. Now we can have a look along the back side of the panel. In this area, you're going to find that you have several locking tabs that make their way around each one of these switches. You can easily remove these using a small pick or a small screwdriver. Obviously, we don't want to break the switch panel itself, but it's okay to break the trim panel if you had to for some reason. Start lifting that up and away. While we continue applying some upward pressure on this, we'll just make our way around all of the locking tabs. This should start pulling out. We'll give that switch assembly a close inspection. This one looks fine. Set it aside, making sure that you cause no damage. We'll move along to the forward switch, same thing. Using that pocket screwdriver or pick, just make your way in between the locks while pressing it out of place. Once again, a quick inspection. And there it is, friend. Now, as you saw, while removing the trim panel, this piece was broken on ours. Now, if you still have this metal locking tab in this bracket, it's important to make sure that you remove it because your new trim panel will come with a new one. You can use a trim tool or whatever you might happen to have. Okay, friend, let's get ready to install our brand new seat trim panel. We'll start with the switches. Take the forward switch with the wiring harness facing towards the front. We'll press this down into position. Listen for a click from both sides and try rocking it out of there. We don't want this falling out. We'll continue on to our rearward switch. This will also slide right into position. We have the wiring harness facing towards the front as well. At this point, we'll be taking this and bringing it up nice and high so we can bring each of the three hooks that are along the top up into their grooves, and then we'll lock it in here and finally continue with that mounting screw. Now that we have this pressed down, we'll lock this in and continue on to our screw. Now it's time for both of our switches. As for this upper portion, you wanna make sure that you have the circular hole facing down so it aligns with this area. We'll press this in. Listen for a click. We'll test the functionality. Okay. Same thing for this one. There really isn't anything for orientation for this. You just wanna line it up and press it in. Test the functionality. Perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. 
Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.